Hey, what's up guys? I just want to show you this new plugin that came out from Fractal Audio. This is Cab Lab 4. Um, in my honest opinion, this is one of the best impulse response loading uh, plugins that there is right now today on the market. Uh, I'll go through some of the features and why I think it's one of the best. So uh, first of all, drag and drop. You can just drag an IR straight into it. This is similar to M Convolution Easy, but here we are with something that you can blend IRs with. So let's listen to this blend of uh, these two IRs here. Right? Uh, it processes stereo audio. That's great. Um, you can mix these. So I can turn this one up. Here, I'll solo it. So that's just this IR. And that's just this IR. But as I'm mixing these, you notice the volume isn't changing. It's staying at the same level. So they auto normalize the output of the mix, which is, dude, that's awesome. All right. You can double click these to get them back to their original value. Uh, you've got some filters here. Hold on. I'm going to do this so that I'm not playing the same five seconds of audio every time. Sorry. All right. So you've got filters here and you can see on on the uh, this little window here what the EQ of your uh, the current mix IR looks like. That's great. Uh, so there's, you know, these low cuts can go as much as 24 dB. So you can make big cuts and you can see I'm making a change there. So you can do that if you want. I'm just going to leave them there for now. Uh, I'm going to show you the what I think is easily, this is easily the best part of this whole fucking thing, dude. Here. So here's, uh, you've got your, I want to add an own hammer IR. And we know what this is going to do. Most of you know what this is going to do. There you go. This is, if you have Nat IR or Libra, then you know my pain. <laughs> This is every single time you drop it in own hammer, it just gets fucking wonky. Uh, and you can see it here. You can see it on the EQ. But what makes this a killer plugin is the fact that you can fix this and it's super easy to fix. Watch. So we'll go to the align tab here and you can see we've got these uh, this blue, yellow, red. Uh, I think it's blue and yellow and red. Uh, and you can align these so we can bring this one and you can see it. You can see the red. You basically just want to align them and you can also see the EQ here as it gets aligned. So we can actually even align them forward in time. So I could put, I could leave the own hammer right where it is. I double clicked to get it to go back to zero. Let's align these other guys with the own hammer. So we can do that. And if you're not getting exact, like, you know, you hold down the control button on your keyboard and that will make it like a finer resolution of change. There you go. So you can even, what you want to do is you want to align, you want to align the top peak here. You want that, that to be the same for all of them, but you can also, now that you can kind of see all of them, uh, thanks to cab lab, and you can also look at the EQ you know, simultaneously you can, and you can listen to it with your ears, obviously, then you can mess around with these and move them, you know, a one hundredth of a millisecond forward or backward or one or two, you know, and you can kind of create a different sound that would be similar to moving a microphone, you know, forwards and backwards from the speaker. Like, you know, in real, if you had like real microphone or real speakers, uh, so you can kind of change the tone and give it some phasey sounds that you may enjoy more than just having it perfectly aligned. So let's check that. All right. So there you go. I think that sounds great. Uh, now, here's the thing when you're talking about this plugin having an export feature, yes, it does. But it only exports for the uh, proprietary fractal audio formats. It doesn't export a WAV file. It just doesn't. But if you watched any of my other videos, you know there's a workaround for this. And I'm going to go over that real quick. <laughs> so what you need is a Dirac spike or Dirac spike. I don't know how you say it, but it's basically I have uh, files. They'll be in the description of the video. It's just one sample, 
It just, it's silence as loud as possible, you know, like, so like a normalized, you know, highest zero dB and then silence. And that's it. That's, that's a DRX bike. You play this through anything that's like an EQ or a reverb or a delay, anything that doesn't have like a uh, distortion on it and you're going to get a perfect result. Uh, so check it out. So I'm just going to line up to here. Uh, I got to turn off my amp. So the only thing that I've got going right now is cab lab in the, uh, in the chain and if we just play this file you can hear it that little click that little click is an impulse response so we're just going to record the uh we're going to record that click real quick you just go here and hit record i've already set this up so that this channel is listening to the output of this channel so here there we go hopefully if my microphone was on that didn't change anything hopefully i don't know um, so now we'll go and edit this guy and I'll make it a mono file. Okay. And then I'm going to normalize it. All right. And then we'll make the, uh, length of it. Not so long. I'm, you know, 200 milliseconds is fine. Honestly, 20 milliseconds is fine. Uh, but like, I'll just do this 200 here and then let's, uh, export it. So export as wave. And then I'm just going to call this, uh, video two. All right. All right. So I have a file in here called video two, and it's basically going to be the exact same mix as what was in, uh, cab lab. So we have cab lab here. And then I'm going to use my M convolution easy and compare this versus uh what we just made so i'm going to drop this dude in one just go here video two all right so we're going to a b between what was in cab lab and what is now my wave file that i made using the process i just showed you guys uh, i got other videos on this that break that down a little better uh so i'll put those in the description too but let's just a b between cab lab and the ir that i just stole out of cab lab <laughs> oh gotta turn on the amp so this is Cab Lab right now, and then here's the M Convolution Easy loaded with the IR that I just made. Might be a little too loud. I turned it up earlier. Hold on. So there you go. <coughs> it's a twofer. All right. So anyway, Cab Lab, fucking awesome. And I'm not kidding. Like this, I'm going to use this. Uh, M There's another Melda plugin that I really like for blending cabinets that goes a lot more geekier with it. But something that it does not do that Cab Lab does do is this fine adjustment of the uh, the the peaks so that you can you can kind of play with them and do a little bit more uh, you know personal mixing with them and honestly this mixer situation is a lot tidier and easier to understand than the uh, M cabinet version. Uh, so yeah, I'm super stoked on this. Um, it's free. Go get it. It's awesome. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and otherwise, uh, enjoy yourselves. All right. Take care. See ya.